Hello friends, Lee from Tabletop Bomb. Welcome to another episode of Vaporizer Drag Races. In this drag race, we're going to be putting the Storz and Bick Almighty up against the Da Vinci IQ2. I just picked up this IQ2 from T-Vape uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's a pretty cool device. Um, I got it on a great deal at T-Vape, so I just thought, well, I've always wanted to try one, so let's grab it and see what happens. And uh, I'm super surprised. Here it is against the Mighty. So in in this video, we're going to use three temperatures, and I'm going to draw on this one hose and activate both bongs, both tabletop bongs with the exact same down stem in them, and it will draw equally on each vaporizer. So let's just get right into it, and I'm going to do this in a rapid rip format. So I'm going to rip it three or four times on each temperature. We're going to go with 355, which is 180 degrees Celsius. We're going to go with 380, which is 193 degrees Celsius, and we're going to go at 410, which is 210 degrees Celsius, so we can see the full range these vaporizers offer. They're both preloaded and ready to go, so here we go. Rapid rip format. I'm just going to rip and rip and rip. I'll speak to you when it's time to reload. Really nice flavor at 355 degrees. Brings out the best in both tapes. And we'll take one more nice long draw at this temperature and then we'll reload and we'll go up to 380 degrees, which is 193 degrees Celsius, and we'll see how these compare at a slightly higher temperature. Really, really nice. It's nice to be able to watch these devices completely head to head and see what you can expect from each one of them at these different temperatures. So let me just really quickly reload and we'll set the temperature now to 380. Oops, one way past it there. Using the included pick tool that comes with the IQ2 is super, super handy. You just pop the top open and it's right there. Too many automatic timers all at once here. All right, let's get this IQ2 reloaded and ready to go. We got the temperature turned up. I think you're going to find this really, really interesting, the results as we continue to go forward. Uh, I've become reasonably familiar with what the IQ2 is capable of after picking this up on that deal at T-Vape. I've uh, become reasonably well versed with what it can do. It's a really interesting device. It's not the kind of device I'm normally all that attracted to. I normally look for things that I think are going to be super hard hitters because that's kind of what I like. 
but I'd heard so many things about the DaVinci IQ2, I thought, well, a great deal, why not? Then I thought I could make some videos. That's a really good reason to go ahead and add another vape to my collection. Alright, so we got the Mighty loaded. Let's get this connected in and get it up to 380. And we'll just let that make its way up to temperature. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty quick. All right, rapid rip, let's go. 380 degrees, 193 degrees Celsius. Now we have to be fair to the mighty on that draw. The Da Vinci had been sitting with the weed in it and heating up. So that wasn't really all that fair of a comparison, but this uh, this draw should be a much clearer comparison. at this temperature. I think both of these can give one more real good rip. You may notice when I'm really ripping on it, the IQ2 has a bit of a challenge keeping up with the oven, whereas the Mighty continues to just churn out the vapor. Uh, one thing I have noticed about the IQ2 is you can cool the oven down when you're ripping on it really hard. It throws a ton of vapor and it throws really nice vapor, but when you're you're using it for really long long hard draws you do have a tendency if you're back to back to back on it to cool the oven down so i recommend with the iq2 actually give it a second between draws don't chain draw on it you know puff puff and you're gonna get a much much better experience out of the iq2 so now we're gonna turn this up to 410 and load her up and we're going to go in and rip them both again and see what happens with the temperature. But I'll pause just for a second in between rips to allow the IQ2 to keep up this time. It's one thing with the Mighty, the Mighty keeps up no problem. It can You can rip on that thing and, and it never seems to have any struggle in the oven keeping up. So I got this up to 410. The Mighty is a super fast reload. I really like that about the Mighty. And we're going to take this right up to 410, which is the max temperature for the Mighty. We'll let her get up to temp. And uh, have some fun ripping some real high temperature. High temperature ripping is awesome when you want that super stony feeling. Or, you know, maybe you're having a hard time sleeping and you want to feel a little more sedated. All right, let's get into it. Rapid rip. Wow, that's really nice. I can only 
rip at these kind of temperatures because I'm using the tabletop bongs. Um, with the vertical down stem, it really diffuses it so well that it allows me to do this and not choke my brains out. Let's get back in. Oof, that's super nice. You may notice that I have some bands around the IQ2. The, the body of it does, when you're using it for heavy sessions, it does get a little bit warm to touch in hand, so I just put a few silicone bands around it, and it works like a case, and it, it keeps it very comfortable in my hand. IQ2 and Stores and Bick Almighty. Wow, what a couple of fantastic vaporizers. <coughs> really great all through the temperature ranges. Do you think there was a clear winner in that one? Let me know in the comments what you think. Vaporizer Drag Races. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.